about. It's worse than it was, isn't it? Yeah. How do you feel after going down, Mike? Huh? How do you feel about going down? It was real exciting, man. It woke me right the fuck up. A silver screen raised to picture the night. Seventeen horses were sacrificed. Run wild. Thing will fuck you up. That damn bird. No peace, no sword, suffering. You drown in those tears. Tears fall down. <laughs> That's fucking scary, eh? The silver screen still raised to picture the light. Hey Mike, where'd you go? Dinosaur National. That's not a drop. <laughs> it's not considered a fall. <laughs> uh, Mike's tired. The sun's going down. We're almost there. We're on 156. But it's sandy. It's like silt. So if this stuff gets wet, you're not moving. This thing's like fucking cement out here. But, uh, yeah, Mike went down right here. He went down pretty good. His, uh, track goes all the way back here. You can see him just riding this, this edge here, and it just pushed him down. Just the rut pushed him down, snow plowed the sand there. He went flying up over there, a little bit over the bank. But, he says his shoulder hurts and his hip a little bit hurts. So, hopefully, uh, you know, he'll work through this end. And, Okay, camp set up and hopefully we're better in the morning, but you know, we gotta take it easy.
This is my little hangout. We just got in here to Canada. Going down to this little little campfire area. That's cool. I think this is the Columbia River. We got this sweet bridge up there. That's cool. Cool picnic tables. Big pines. They're not all chewed up from the bugs. See, when we got in here to Canada, stopped to customs there. The guy asked me, he's like, what's this, what's this, what's this all about here? He asked to talk to me. He started asking questions. So I was like, oh yeah, I was running from the cops on a dirt bike. Oh yeah, we had to bring out that story. I'm drunk on elevation. Oh, yeah. yeah, buddy. Oh, I've got my passport book. What? That book to for my stamp. I just put it on a piece of paper. Ain't no big deal. Hey, don't be raining on my parade. You don't even have your book. What's the use? Huh? It's just you're not getting a stamp. You're not collecting, or you're not collecting any stamps either. See, Clay, he's collecting all these stamps where he's been, and when he's been. So in the future, he can look back and he's old. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, sure shit. Clay was wrong. He was talking about that story, but that was actually 2012 he took that trip, not 2016, you know. Oh, I see. It's a memory aid. Yeah. See, Mike and I, here it's... I'm gonna tell you the date today in just about five minutes. It's July 6th, man. 2012. And the time is about three o'clock. You know how I can tell? Wind, air, sun, thermostat, sundial. It's cool. Yeah, literally, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, this parking lot was completely empty last time I was here. Nothing. Just take a picture, show my friend that we're... It's just a mask. There's nothing there, it's hot, it's indented now. Well done. Looks 3D, doesn't it? <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. To ride on that thing's a hundred bucks or more. More than that. That's ridiculous. Who's got more than that? Buzz and you're halfway there. Don't do or because I'm, you know. Bust. Bust the beat, right? There's Leonard. We've been feeding him. He's gonna go get his nuts right now. You jump up there? Oh yeah, he likes that. Uh, I'm done. Oh. See, we're gonna listen to him and we're about, I don't know, 
five minutes and start squealing. Yeah. And we're hot nuts. And he's a little Mexican. He gets a little upset. He's eating it right now. Yep. Mike's the one carrying the nuts. What kind of nuts you got there? Jalapeno cheese nut. We're gonna head to Glacier. We're in Canada right now. On my GPS, I gotta get the favorite saved as Range Road 35A. Alright, Clay. It goes all the way down, there's water. I know, but it looks shallow on that right side. That's yeah. It's fucked right there. Trying to get back into the States. Clay goes first. There he goes. There he goes. Border. Canada on this side, US on that side. Mike and I decided to start right around that gate. The border patrol is there. Gonna get you. Yeah. Up the National Park. Canyon Reservoir, but on the Lewis and Clark Trail. It's really hazy out today. You can't see much. But this is the second time in 30 days in the saddle that Mike and I have stopped here. We did stop at that little shack back there on our way up, and we took a nice little road north of here. Goes up to a couple little towns and that, but a great back side of the mountains. The valley's back over there, so we're on the east side where the mountains are kind of like deserty looking. But in the bottom of the valley over there on the other side, on the west side, nice and green and trees. It's cool. But the adventure detour takes us down south of Clark Canyon. We're heading south. So we're going to do the road they want to adventure detour. This is on the adventure detour. Cool campsite I found. Fire pit. There goes Mike. That's a pretty cool place. It's your 360 view. There's your coordinates. city tonight. Try to get ourselves a motel room. It's Friday the 13th. And oh yeah, they got a like, big thing going on around here. All the way down to uh, freaking Dodge City. Dodge. Yeah, they got a big thing going on there. All the rooms are full. All the rooms are full here. No rooms left. And Clay Dog's traveling, and he's just like, well, you know, 
where are you going to stay? I tell the one guy at the Holiday Inn, I said, oh, fuck, I'll stay right there in that bush right there if I have to. I said, I'm not going any farther down this road, I'm tired. So, I figured out where we're going to camp. We're going to camp right here on the ground, right next to the bike, at the Walmart. Yay! Fucking five star hotel. Hey, you kids, get out of there! Fixed it. You're on the end. You're on the end. Thanks to mine. No problem. That's you. End. On the end of what? <laughs> the end. He's on the end. <laughs> Got Roy. Hey, he had doing? the he had the ratchet and he had the long extension. He had two extensions, yeah. small ones. Mine's longer. P. <laughs> Short little guy. <laughs> And then he had the socket and another extension. It barely was long enough. <laughs> Down here on Gypsy Tour. Went to go rescue uh, Dan's bike. He got that squared away. I got there before they did. And they left before I did. I don't know how that works. This is like a little overlook in the Ozarks here, Arkansas. This is the lady's house. Nice little campground just right up the street. National Forest. But you know, she got to set up, man. Come up here, come over to the little fridge here, and everything's a dollar. Everything's a dollar. Come up here. Oh, she's got everything. V8s, Red Bulls, sodas, little snacks. You, know, you put your dollar in a little cup. Convenience fee. Okay. Put your stuff in the trash. Then also, look what she has up here. What do you want? What do you want? Nice? She's got it. 250. Nice. You see, there's one other thing when you come up here. Tiffany's brake line and Tiffany is stealing his tire. I don't know which one's really worse.
Backed up and ready to go. She can't go because we're waiting on the van. Waiting on dime to get the van so I can put that fuel filter in right there. And hopefully that fixes my van. It's going down uh, 54 here. And I seen some bikers uh, stranded, so I came down here and helped them out. They broke a fuel line. One of those little plastic fuel lines broke on it. It happened to me down in uh, Albuquerque, same thing. So I helped him out, and I gave him mine off my bike and filled him up with some gas, and now they're back on the road. Thank you, Clayton. I have absolutely no makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ride a sidecar.